Need a break from the bright lights in Big City? Well, we have found a grape escape along Route 128. I was born in a small town And I live in a small town I am thrilled to be here with Cosette and Ron at the Hope Merrill House in the beautiful town of Geyserville. Well, the house was built in 1870, um, and it was at that time a private home, but also sometimes used as a, uh, um, a place for people to stay. And this was called the Merrill Extension to Geyserville. Talk to us a little bit about why you think Geyserville is so unique or special. It has that small town charm. Well, it is a small country western town. Uh, many years ago, before they put in the 101 up above the road there, uh, this used to be 101, and there was a lot of traffic coming through and so on. And uh, when the highway was built up there, it made us sort of segregated and be able to produce our own little entity, and that's how it came. And the people are so friendly here. I just I love this little town. Why do you think it's so special to stay at a B&B as opposed to, say, a motel or a hotel? much more intimate, much more romantic. The wallpapers in the, throughout this entire house are all hand silkscreen using quality papers. Um, they were made by uh, Bruce Bradbury. The paper in the living room is an exact reproduction of the paper that was originally here in the 1800s. We serve breakfast, one seating, so um, in this dining room here, we serve 16 people at one time. And so they're talking and they talk about wine. Well, of course, because we are in wine country. Well, that's the other thing that's really unique about this stretch here in Geyserville. I mean, you're really within walking distance to uh, some wineries. It's not just whining in Geyserville. There's also a lot of dining here. Just two blocks down, there are two main restaurants. One is called Catelli's, which the family has been there for over 60 years. Uh, Diavola, just down the street, is a wonderful little place. It's got its own uh, brick oven that's wood fired. Probably the most exciting thing that's happened in the last recently, Lady Gaga was here for dinner. You know, we have to have a new motto Geyserville. If it's good, good enough, enough for, for Gaga, Gaga, it's good, good enough, enough for us. Who needs Route 66 when you've got Route 128? We opened up our little shop um, in 2008, uh, July, and I uh, never looked back. It uh, it fit us to a T, and it's center point for our uh, for this wine road. We named our wine brand after um, Highway 128 or Route 128. And you also have a, a pretty neat car connection. The connection is um, this was uh, the Ford dealership, which the Lamson family came to Geyserville in 1902 and ended up being the tenth Ford dealership in the state of California, and. Uh, this was the parts department. Do you ever find any fenders or hubcaps laying around? No, no, I can't say I have. You find a lot of wine laying around though, I bet, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, been in the wine business, um, Pete and I together, over 60 years. Uh, Pete's uh, history is very rich. Um, started out uh, over in Rutherford, and um, our paths crossed at Chateau St. Jean Winery in the mid 80s. Every time I go around and chat with people, they, they always ask me, where can we go to those undiscovered places? Where are the places that aren't sort of touristy? Where are the off the map places? I found with Northern Sonoma County, uh, amazing wineries. You come into our business, I'm working uh, behind the counter. We are on Highway 128, um, and Highway 128, beautiful wine road, um, about 120 miles long, and it winds through some very distinct um, wine counties, and we're talking Mendocino, Sonoma, Napa, Solano. Our home, our vineyards, and our small family winery fronts 128, and um, that's how we came up with uh, Route 128. It just, um, it works. Now here's the hard-hitting question of the day. Is it Route 128 or Route 128? Well, I think it's Route. Uh, my friends from back east feel its root. No matter how you say a potato, potato, tomato, tomato, root, route, just remember to come on by and have some of this wine, huh? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>